What's up, everybody? Okay, so, okay, obviously, this vlog is late. What can we expect at this point, right? You know, I'm Filipino. It's always gonna be late, right? You know, seldom are Filipinos ever on time. Am I right? If you're Filipino, totally comment below on how on time we are, okay? So, today, I am going to be doing a full studio tour. The project that I've been working on since like May, June-ish kind of area and now it's pretty much done. So let's get started. First off on that list are the LG 34 inch 380B curved ultra wide monitors. I purchased two of them. It's always been kind of you know, kind of a dream of mine to have dual monitors or external monitors hooked up to my laptop. So I decided to indulge. Is it a bit extra? 100%. Am I extra? 110%. Am I? Okay, don't, don't answer that. Anywho, so I have two of the LG 34 inch monitors connected to my MacBook Pro, which is the 2017 model, juiced up to the maximum configuration. And the reason why I decided to customize it, because that's where I do majority, if not all of my editing for photos and for video. So the laptop needs to be perfect. Next up is the custom desk. When you have two 34 inch monitors, sometimes the problem is being able to fit them on pre-made desks. So instead of worrying about what desk is big enough, I decided to build my own. And Ikea was a major help to this project. What I have is that I have my Mac and my monitors on top of a Kintra countertop, the Halistad. And the Halistad kitchen countertop is actually placed on top of Alex drawers. Best IKEA hack ever. Whenever you need to build a custom desk. Next up on the list is actually this table that I'm using, and this is the Lilstrask desk. And the reason why I have this desk is so I'm able to film, which is what I'm doing right now. And I can place any merchandise that I wish to show, or if I have mail time segments, I can use this desk to present and then I can go back and edit and then come back here and be able to talk to you guys if I need to film something else. So in terms of the lighting now, I actually am using Limo Studio softbox lighting. It really helps because my little space is actually downstairs in my basement. So natural light is very minimal if very difficult to come by. These soft boxes really, really help with recording. Next on this list, I have this Vizio TV 42 inch, and that is connected to my PlayStation 3 as well, loaded with a bunch of games. Whenever I need to take a break from editing, you best be knowing I'd be playing all kinds of games like Mass Effect, which is game that I absolutely love. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention is what paint did I use for the studio? And what I actually did use is a bit of sugar white. And the gray that I used was liquid mercury and this was all bought from Home Depot. So these are two colors that I absolutely love. I love the contrast that it has in the room so it's not just pure, pure white. That's a little bit of flavor to the studio. That pretty much concludes this studio tour. I must say thank you to Carl Conrad. This setup is basically his setup, very inspired by him and his studio tours and all the tech that he does. So I must give him a shout out. I would have never been able to construct my own studio space for editing and recording without his help. I will link everything that I purchased down below and I will also link his channel. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next vlog. Peace.